Come on in, come on in. I'm just getting all of my ingredients together. It's lunch time, so I'm gonna make a little, <coughs> um, make a little lunch. Come on in, come on in. Make sure you like Kedra's Kitchen, share the video, tell your friends, come and join you for lunch. We're gonna cook something on today. What am I, what else am I, what else do I want? I have this, I have this. I'm missing something. Oh, my kale. Come on in into the kitchen, y'all. We'll use this instead. All right. Hey, everybody. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, I'm just making a quick lunch. I've been sitting in here working on my laptop all morning. No juice today. We're drinking water. So I'm making a quick lunch. It's going to be, um, we're going to do some sweet potato with some uh, purple cabbage and um, some kale. Okay. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start with, I'm going to, um. So I saved my, so if you are into juicing, which I'm encouraging everybody to start juicing, if you're into juicing, save your stalks, your kale stalks, okay? Kale is very, very healthy. I prefer kale <coughs> over, excuse me, over spinach. Um, kale is a superfood. So save your kale stalks if you're juicing. Um, so I just hold on to my kale stalks and... I kind of feel like I render more juice out of the stalk than I do the leaves. Um, so I just save them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the um, the kale off the stalks. And because this is fresh kale, um, I'm gonna have to rinse this. So I'm just about to, the first thing I'm gonna do is put some, some water in here, let it rinse and get all of that dirt off and um and then we'll move on okay so let me just put some water in here so the kale at the kale cooks up like it is spinach it shrinks up so um i want to put even though i'm not i'm just not making a lot right now because just for lunch um i'm still gonna do a lot of kale because it's gonna shrink up okay all right so we're gonna make like I don't have a name for this. Um, it's basically gonna be sweet potatoes, purple cabbage. I have some onions, some peppers, and um, some kale. And we're gonna saute all of it up. Make sure you um, <coughs> make sure you like Kedra's Kitchen. Make sure you share the video. Share the video. Start a watch party. Get everybody in here. So if you've been watching my past videos, okay, so I'm going to let this kale, this kale is going to soak in this water. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to let that do that. Um, so if you've been watching my videos lately, um, I've made like a huge switch. Hold on really second. I said, hold on really second. Hold on really quickly. So if you've been watching my videos lately, I've kind of made like a really huge switch in my diet. And I've been doing a lot of plant-based. I've been doing a lot of vegan, <coughs> excuse me, dairy-free. See this cough that I have? So I'm trying to eliminate my mucus because, um, <clears throat> you know, that's what's causing all of this post-nasal drainage and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get rid of all this mucus. It doesn't happen overnight, especially if you're not 
if you haven't been eating healthy all of your life. So it's going to take a while. So I've been also doing a couple detoxes, which I'm going to also come on here and talk to you guys. Actually, I'm not going to come on here. You guys are going to come to my my show that is starting um, January the 4th. It's going to premiere on YouTube. And it is Black um, Holistic Health. Okay? And we're going to be talking about all of this stuff, about all of the changes that I've made. Um... And I'm going to have on guests talking about health benefits and everything. So, you guys come check it out. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Kedra's Kitchen. Very simple, okay? So, I've made a lot of changes to uh, my diet. I'm taking this uh, June. Did I say January? I didn't mean to say January. June. June the 4th, okay? It's on a Thursday. June the 4th, 7 o'clock. It's going to be on YouTube, all right? <clears throat> um... So I'm going to take this sweet potato. I'm just going to peel it, okay? And then I'm going to turn my my um, stove more really quick so that when, once I cut this up, it'll be ready to go ahead and start cooking. All right, so that's, I have it on medium, okay? Well, we'll turn it down a little bit. All right, all right. So I'm just going to peel this uh, sweet potato and then I'm going to dice it up, okay? We're going to cook it with some peppers and some onions, all right? So like I was saying, um, I've really changed up like my whole diet and, um, you know, really gearing more towards uh, plant-based and vegan food um, just to be more healthy and uh, basically just to be more healthy. Um, I still like my seafood. I don't think I'll fully, I'll ever fully give that up. But as to where I was eating seafood, like, you know, for, for my protein, like every day, then I'm finding new ways or new alternatives um, to supplement that, that taste for the seafood. Um, so yesterday I did some oyster mushrooms and I put them in a taco and you can go see that on, um, on my Facebook page. Uh, Kedra's Kitchen Facebook page and the way that I seasoned it, they ended up tasting just like seafood. Uh, it tasted like, so I want to do some more stuff with oyster mushrooms. That was um, actually my first time kind of doing what I did with them yesterday. Um, I want to do some more stuff. I was telling somebody that um, I want to try like a po' boy and I did the tacos yesterday. So it's just all about finding um, alternative ways to uh, still eat the things that you like to eat but um healthier so um like i i can't if my food is gonna be boring i i can't live i can't i can't live <laughs> so if i'm gonna do vegan and be holistic it has to at least be good okay so that's what you're coming on here to see good food okay um that's what you're coming out here to see good food okay good healthy food all right so i'm making some of my favorite things but just in a healthier way so this is so the sweet potato i just got finished peeling the sweet potato i'm gonna go ahead and cut it and i'm gonna cut it in half and i'm just gonna dice this up okay we're gonna put this in with um some cabbage purple cabbage now this is also so if anybody's familiar with the seven chakras it's the five the seven energy sources that run all the way down from your reproductive area all the way to the crown of your head okay i'm also been eating to um keep my chakras um i've always i mean i've been also been eating to keep my chakras unblocked as well as doing other things to keep them unblocked, okay? So I'm gonna be teaching a lot more of that as well. So today, this is a good, um, this is a good opportunity. So actually, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something else or I'm gonna come back and do something else specifically on the chakras, okay? But, um, and you'll be interested to hear how, um, you can keep your energy sources or your, your energy points um, clear, unblocked. It makes a world of difference in how you feel um, through food. One of the ways, through food, okay? 
All right, so I have my sweet potatoes. They're diced up. These are actually gonna take the longest to cook. So um, I'm gonna put, so I'm, I'm cutting these up and putting them in first, okay? <coughs> All right, so I want that, I want my, my heat to kind of be really, really hot when I, um, when I put that in there. So I'm gonna hold off on just a second. And I have some sunflower oil in the pan. Um, I'm, I'm really, I've been getting into sunflower oil lately. I really, really like it. Um, I also use grapeseed oil is very good. Um, depending on what you're cooking, you can use coconut oil, but I like to use coconut oil, um, just for certain things when I'm trying to get some extra flavor because it does have like that coconut flavor that is actually really, really good. And it does come through, um, in the food. So this is some red red onion all right and if you want to talk about chakras uh red the color red is associated with your root chakra which is right down at the bottom all right it's the it's the if you're going from bottom to the top or yeah so bottom to top is the first chakra at the bottom okay and um that's and red is usually i didn't want to cut it like this that's okay red is usually associated with uh your root chakra and keeping yourself grounded all right so this is a good way that i like to you know exercise that root chakra keep myself um grounded and you really do like feel a difference so when i'm feeling like just like all over the place sometimes then i'll put on something red wear something red i'll sit on the ground but if i want to do it through food since food is my area then i just come in here and i eat something red that could be strawberries that can be um red onions and you really will be surprised like how food really 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 affects you okay all right green green which is the kale that is associated with your heart chakra i, I said i'm gonna do this another time but really quickly green is associated with your um heart chakra okay so you know if you um are having a hard time giving love receiving love um you know whatever then and i'll go in more detail about it in another um in another live but green is associated with your heart heart chakra so we're gonna um so to keep that energy flowing in my heart chakra then i'm gonna add that kale okay all right so i also have some i don't have any red this is my red onion we're gonna chop as much red onion as we can out of that but i really want some red onion and i, I need to i need to go grocery shopping what I need to do. So I'm gonna dump all of this in there at the same time because I, I want it all to kind of cook and, and I'm gonna throw some, um, no, I'm not gonna throw any garlic in here. Um, <clears throat> I don't like to throw garlic in here. I was gonna chop up some garlic, but I don't like to throw garlic in here because of the sweet potato. But what I do like to do is I'm gonna end up putting garlic on the kale and I like, it doesn't necessarily sweeten, I mean, you know, flavor everything else, which I like. It just flavors the kale and then that kind of, it's hard to explain. But I don't want to, I don't want the garlic flavor on all of this. So I'm not going to put on, I just want it, I'm just going to put on the kale. So for that, we're going to use a little bit of garlic um, powder, okay? Alrighty. So I think my pan should be ready. I'm going to go ahead and dump all of these vegetables in there. These are also, um, everything on here is a root vegetable as well. So um, that can also be used for <coughs> the energy of your, excuse me, of your um, heart, I mean of your root chakra, okay? Tune in to on um, Thursdays, starting June the 4th, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to be doing the, the Black Holistic um, show, Black Holistic Health on YouTube. 
And I'm going to really, really get into like all of the chakras and stuff like that and explain them and then how we can eat to um, according to our chakras, okay, and the benefits of that. So let me go ahead. <clears throat> I don't have a camera person. We're going to um, attract a camera person, whoever that may be, okay, so that I don't have to keep moving this thing back and forth. So, in the meantime, because I don't feel like moving it back and forth, let me just go throw this over here, and then I'll be back, okay? A really, really, really easy, simple, but good. Lunch. Sometimes I even eat this uh, for breakfast. So. All right, sometimes I'll even eat this for breakfast and get some um, just egg. Here, I'll show you guys with just egg. I need to get more of this too. Just egg and I'll make like a breakfast scramble. It's plant-based. This just egg is plant-based. All right, I'll make like a breakfast scramble, maybe roll it up in a, um, in a, in a spinach wrap or whatever. Um, and do do it like that. Let me show y'all while that's cooking. Let me show y'all this uh, vegan carrot cake I made last night. When I tell you how good this thing is, okay, it's all vegan from the eggs to the milk to everything. It's all vegan, and it is so good. All right. I cannot sit up in here. I done lost too much weight. Even though it's vegan, it still has like the icing has powdered sugar. And it is a buttercream icing, vegan butter. And the flour in it. The flour in it is white flour. So I don't need to sit here and eat that whole thing, but it's good, okay? All right, so next I'm going to take my cab my purple cabbage um it's a way that you can cut this you can cut like a get so i'm gonna show you so see if you cut it like down like how i'm about to cut it then you'll get like um i'll show you see how it comes out kind of like julienne in its own julienne way okay so if you just follow the pattern on the cabbage, then it, it makes it really easy to cut it. And I'm getting into this uh, core down here, which I don't want. So the sweet potatoes actually take the longest to cook. So that's why we started it first. All right, this is just your reminder. Don't forget to share the video. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna save this. It's something that I can do with it. I don't know what yet, but it's something. So I made that carrot cake. Let me tell y'all, so the carrot cake Actually, I've been talking to y'all about juicing because I do a lot of juicing. I juice every day. Will never, when I tell you, hear me when I say, I will never, ever, 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 ever buy some juice again because I can make it in my little juicer. Look at that. Look at my juicer. I can make it in my juicer. Okay. It is the best juice 
ever. So I took my carrot pulp from my juicer. Took my carrot pulp from juicing. And that's actually what I repurposed it and put it in the carrot cake. And it actually made it very, very, very moist, okay? Um, <coughs> when it separates it, excuse me. When it separates it from the juice, the juice and then the carrot pulp, for some reason, the carrot pulp is like really, really moist. And so, um, so yeah, so it made the cake, it made the cake very, very moist. Okay. All right. So cool. So I have red peppers, green onions. I have red onion, no red peppers, green peppers, red onions, sweet potatoes. <clears throat> and now I'm about to add a little bit of purple cabbage. Okay. And I'll make this, <clears throat> I'll make this like for lunch or like I said, for breakfast and do like a scramble with it with the just eggs. And um, I really can eat off of this like all day long, okay? Because, and it's one sweet potato all day long, all right? Okay, so we're just waiting on that to cook. I think my kale. Yep. So when you just set it in some water, then um, that dirt, all the dirt and stuff, it'll sink to the bottom. All right. And you'll actually be able to see it. So this is actually ready. I'm going to put this in like at the very last few minutes um, because... It does not take that long to cook. It's kind of like, when it cooks, it's kind of like spinach. You know how spinach, like, like it cooks up really, really fast? Well, so does this kale, okay? So we're just going to wait, okay? All right, let's see what y'all talking about up there, what y'all doing. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I putting the sweet potatoes in the oven? No, I'm not putting the sweet potatoes in the oven. You can put the sweet potato in the oven, but it, 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 it it's gonna take too long. And I don't want it to be like, I don't want it to be like a baked potato that soft, okay? Um, I just want it to, so it's kind of like making a, you know how you make like fried potatoes, right? Same thing except it's a sweet potato. Look how pretty that is so far. Ooh, and it smells so good too. And all I put on there, I have not put any seasoning on there except for um, a little bit of salt. So all of those, all of that aroma is um, the natural aroma of, you know, each ingredient. So, and it smells so good. Give it a little toss. All right, let's see, any more questions? All right, cool. Okay, so we just wait on that to cook. Let me put this back in the fridge. All right. Um, so here's a tip too. I know what I'm gonna use this for. Vegetable stock. Okay. Um, so you can. I'm gonna put this in some water with all of the other. I save all of my veggies. Okay. So all of this is going to go into some water, some of this, um, and I'm going to actually put all of this into one. So the other day I made some quinoa and uh, brown rice. Uh, that could stay there. I made some quinoa and some brown rice. And instead of putting water in there, like how the recipe calls for, you know, you're supposed to, you know, put it in boiling water. I used vegetable stock instead and it gave it, ooh, it gave it a whole other level of flavor. Okay. So don't throw out your, you know, the ends of your vegetables that you would normally like trash and throw out, save it and make vegetable stock. 
You could do that with um, chicken as well. Um, if you uh, bake some chicken or fry some chicken or whatever, just take the bones from the chicken and put it in there. You can put it in there with vegetables, okay? And you can make a chicken broth and chicken stock, okay? <coughs> um, I mean, same thing with any type of meat. Beef stock, you take the bones and just put it in water. Let it boil. Let all that stuff come out, the seasonings and the, the flavors and everything. And then, um, hey, um, hey, Jenny. The seasonings and the flavors and let that boil down. Add just a little bit of salt to it and then, bam, you have a stock, okay? All right, so... This is looking pretty good. Alright. It's not quite done yet because my potato is not as soft as I want it to be. Alright. So give me just a second and put this in the refrigerator so I can save it for my stock. Give me just a second. All right, cool. Oh, put the eggs back. Okay, so has is it, has anybody considered like going vegan, changing up your lifestyle, your 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 food lifestyle? Has anybody considered it? Um, it's definitely way better for you. I'll tell you that. I've lost almost, not quite, but I've lost almost 30 pounds since um, changing up my my diet. It started back in January when um, I started intermittent fasting. And from there, it kind of just, you know, just one thing led to the other. And I, I wanted to get more and more healthy, you know, as I kept doing it. And so it eventually brought me here to uh, doing, you know, plant-based and vegan and just healthier food or whatever. So hold on. Okay, that's gonna cook down. Give me just a second and I'm gonna season that with some garlic. And then when that cooks down, it's time to eat lunch. A little bit of garlic powder. show you the colors look how pretty look how pretty that looks yes do it go vegan you can you know come in where we're cooking and you know get all of these recipes but just look how pretty that looks okay oh so pretty all right it looks so pretty the colors are so vibrant so we're gonna let that cook down just a little bit So look, I said that I was like, I'm like, I, a friend of mine hit me up like a few, like about maybe about a few months ago, say about maybe two months ago, right? And he was like, listen, he was like, listen, you know, you need to go vegan. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not doing no vegan. I'm not doing that. I like to eat too much. I'm not giving up this and this and that and this and this. 
and then slowly i just started started doing it so i mean if if it's if it's it's going to eventually if it's something that you are thinking about then it's gonna eventually hit you um is it expensive to go vegan no that's another misconception um some things are expensive but if you so my sweet potatoes I'll go to the store and pick up like maybe four sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes are only uh, like sweet potatoes are not expensive and they're healthier than regular potatoes. Okay, that's a very good question. Is it expensive to go vegan? Some things are expensive. So like the just egg that I um that I showed you. <coughs> the egg substitute that I showed you. This is about five or six dollars, okay? That could be that's expensive considering how much a carton of eggs is. Um, I think I got this sour cream. Oh, I'm gonna put some sour cream on top of this. That's gonna be good. Um, this vegan sour cream, plant-based sour cream. This was about three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents. Okay, at Sprout. Okay. Um, but if you get like the kale, so it kind of balances itself out because I could go and get like a, a bushel of kale for what um 70 something cents one of just one of the bundles of kale okay for 70 something cents um so i'll pick up like four of them at a time all right and depending on what i'm doing with them i can make them last so if i'm juicing some kale then you know i know that out of a bundle i'm gonna get about a cup of juice okay so <clears throat> um, I just kind of, you know, think about that in my head. But if I'm not juicing the kale and I'm more so doing it like this, then I know that I can use like half of a bundle um, for, you know, when I cook with it or whatever. And so I can, you know, estimate how long I'm going to make it last and how much I'm going to get for it um, or get out of it. Uh, stuff like the garbanzo bean flour that I did with the oyster mushrooms, that was um, a little bit expensive. It Well, it was like... Compared to what you would get, compared to what you would buy, hold on. Woo! Short girl problems. Bonzo bean flour is a good source of fiber and it's healthier than all-purpose flour, okay? You could get this at the store for less than $2. I think it's like $1.70 something, $1.96 or whatever, right? This costs like $3.54, $4, okay? But like I said, um, you know, it balances it out because if you go into the produce section at, the, at your store then i can go into aldi don't sleep on aldi y'all okay do not sleep on aldi they have some of the best produce in there especially when it comes to fruit okay i go to aldi and get um a container of um strawberries for like a dollar 29 or maybe even the other day i got it for like 99 cent and they were good quality strawberries and it's organic okay um i can get blueberries at aldi i can get blueberries like probably about a dollar cheaper then if I were to go to like another grocery store, so don't sleep on Aldi's. So I go to Aldi's and get like a lot of produce or whatever. But like for the more specialized stuff, like the garbanzo bean flour or like the plant-based sour cream or the just egg, then you will have to go to somewhere like Whole Foods or Publix. I'm not sure if Kroger, <coughs> um, if Kroger has like a vegan section or whatever. I'm sure they do. I'm not sure because we don't have Kroger in Florida. Um, so, um... I'm not sure, but I'm sure that they do. All right. You go to Sprouts, Whole Foods, and since it's just me, this sour cream is going to last me a while. So even though I may have paid like three something for it, um, it's not going to go like it's going to last me a while because it's just me and I don't eat sour cream with everything. All right. Um, so it just it balances itself out. It One thing I also learned, too, is that um, it's kind of like a mind thing. You know, um, I don't know how to explain it. 
I know that some of the, I know that this flower is going to be more than buying the all purpose flower, okay? Um being it for a little over 3 years. Oh good. Okay. Um I know that buying this garbanzo bean flower is going to be more expensive than buying the all purpose flower. But it kind of ends up becoming your norm to where you don't even feel that it, it may be more expensive, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how other way to describe it, but it kind of just starts becoming the norm. You know, it's, it's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of just starts becoming like the norm of what you're going to spend on groceries. All right. And then, you you know, you figure out like I've had these sweet potatoes for like maybe about two weeks now, maybe because I bought like, you know, a whole bunch of them at like maybe four or five of them at one time and sweet potatoes aren't nothing. All right. All right. So let's check on this. This is ready. And it smells so good. All right. I may have to top this off with a little bit of a salt just to bring out some of the flavors because you know we don't like bland food okay i'm not gonna eat bland food so but do not use iodized salt kosher salt sea salt pink himalayan salt all of that works okay this up and you know what guys this will probably serve me for um quite honestly i'm gonna eat this for for lunch and um i may even finish it off for dinner all right so again when you're talking about cost depending on how many people you're feeding this is one meal but this one meal is gonna last me um how did i get in there this one meal is probably going to end up lasting me all day. All right. So as opposed to, you know, maybe spending, you know, way more. And I've, I've reused these uh, peppers and onions a few times. I've gotten a few uses out of them as far as like, you know, being able to cut. I'm not going to eat this much, but that's okay. So bam, I got dinner okay and as well all right and then after dinner after dinner i have my vegan carrot cake okay <laughs> all right oh I, do i got any carrot pulp left i don't think i have any carrot pulp again repurposing okay if i had carrot pulp left from when i juiced my carrots i could have put some carrots in here as well all right let's try this with just a little bit of i'm gonna put some sour cream on the, on the side okay just because i i love to experiment with flavors and sometimes the things that you may think um are not good together end up being very good together okay so I'm just going to put a dabble of sour cream on the side. Plant-based sour cream. All right. Here we go. I got ahead of myself. I was about to taste it. Here we go. Bam. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, gorgeous. It's about to taste good, okay? Yummy. All right, let's taste it. Nobody always got a taste. I know it tastes good. I make this all the time. Mm. And I love it. Like, I can't not get enough of this combination. I love the combo of kale and sweet potatoes together. It's so good. That's sweet and that savory together. 
so good all right it's hot Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of sour cream. Just put a little dabble on my fork, okay? We'll try the sour cream on with it. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all, it gives a different taste. All right, guys. I hope this inspires you to go vegan, go plant-based. I'm not 100% vegan because I still need my salmon and my shrimp and my crab legs, my crab cakes, my scallops, my clams. I still need all of that, okay? But for the most part, on a daily basis, it's going to be something vegan, something more healthy, an alternative to... Um, how I've eaten in the past. No. This sour cream, listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. It is the dairy that produces mucus. Okay. It is the dairy that produces mucus. This is non-dairy. Dairy-free. All right. That's what vegan, that's what plant-based is. It's dairy-free. Okay, so no dairy, all right? Vegan is no animal products, okay? Um, Dairy-free is no dairy, all right? So the only reason why I'm eating this and still being vegan is because it is more plant-based. Um, it does not have no nuts, no soy, no dairy in it. It is plant-based sour cream, okay? So you can eat this. Let's clear up what vegan is. Vegan is no animal products, okay? No dairy, because dairy are animal products. No meat, okay? Even, so that's why I don't consider myself like, I'm 98% vegan, because I still do my seafood, all right? But no dairy, okay? I'm cutting out my dairy, okay? You can find this at, I found this at Sprouts. I looked for it at Publix. I could not find it at Publix. I did not try Whole Foods because I was not driving all the way out there. So I found this at Sprouts. Sprouts has a very, very good um, vegan alternatives, okay? Vegan butter. I do vegan butter. I, I could find the vegan butter at Walmart, though. Vegan butter. Um, <coughs> all right? Vegan. The almond milk, the coconut milk, that is dairy-free. So that's vegan. Okay, um, but vegan is no animal products, no dairy, plus no eggs. Um, that's another reason why I'm not, I'm 98% vegan because I still do my local honey. Okay, because I put that in my, um, when I make my medicines with my herbs. So, um, you, you know, you gotta do what works for you. Okay, <coughs> so we'll say dairy free. All right, this is dairy free. So that's, and it's plant based. All right, it's made from plants. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. If you have more questions about vegan and plant-based, then listen, I'll explain it when I come on here to my live videos, but also I encourage you to go to YouTube and excuse me, go to YouTube, go like Kedra's Kitchen on YouTube, go subscribe to Kedra's Kitchen on YouTube because that is where the black hole, black holistic health, um, podcast show whatever is going to be streaming on youtube okay starting J june the 4th okay so go subscribe to keep your kitchen on youtube so you can catch it and you can catch all your questions about veganism you could catch all your questions about plant-based you could catch all the questions that you have and learn more just about holistic health in general okay there's no reason why we as a melanated people should be suffering from the coronavirus at larger numbers simply due to um, our pre-existing um, conditions, which are notorious in our community, blood pressure, cholesterol, heart problems, all of that stuff, okay? So we're about to, you know, 
rid all of that in addition to balancing our chakras healing with reiki and just everything holistic getting back to how our ancestors lived holistically okay cool go follow kedra's kitchen on youtube and i will see you guys later peace i'm gonna go eat